it's Ellie. Um, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my uh, game bag and what exactly I have inside of it. This game bag goes with us everywhere, all summer long, to any events that we go to, even when we travel out of town or the country. This game bag goes with us everywhere. I have narrowed it down to our favorite games, the games that we actually play the most, ones that are kid appropriate, and ones that our friends also enjoy, and my husband and I enjoy. So let's get into it. First thing I'm going to say before showing you all of my goodies is that I have all the links down in the description below. I am an Amazon affiliate, so I do make um, a small commission if you decide to purchase any of these games. If you would like me to go into more detail about the games, I would be happy to do that in another video. So, first things first, I have this bag. It's just a drawstring bag that I purchased on Amazon. Um, we had everything in Ziploc bags, but we have grown out of that and we have destroyed Ziploc bags. So I wanted to make a little bit of an investment into something a little bit sturdier. Um, you can get these anywhere. I just bought mine on Amazon. Next thing is our speaker. This speaker goes everywhere with us. I love this speaker. There's two really great things about it. One is it is small and compact, so if you do like to travel, you don't have to keep the case. I'm just a weirdo and keep it. Um, another great thing about the speaker is if you're sitting at a longer table and you have a bigger party, you can put a speaker at each end of the table and everybody can listen to the music. I think it's wonderful. Um, next is Domino's. We just recently purchased this. I wanted to start playing dominoes more. My son really likes them. I enjoy them, so I wanted to add it to our collection of games uh, for this coming travel season. Next is 60 Second Slam. This game is so much fun. We bought this a few years back and now it goes everywhere with us because everybody loves to play it. I actually had to make photocopies of the game cards because we play it so often. Another new to us game is Ultimate Catchphrase. I think everybody has played Catchphrase in their life. This one, what I like about it, instead of the smaller handheld one or the cards, is that it is a rubber disc so you can throw it like a Frisbee. It makes it a little bit more entertaining. Um, I'm very excited to play this this season as well. Next is another game that is new to us, but since I have purchased it, we have already played this game about a dozen times, and it is Racco. This did come in a bigger box. I decided to just kind of shrink it all down with some hair ties, and then I keep it all together. I take the directions and wrap it around the cards, and then it just slips right into the insert of the racks, and it keeps it nice and compact. This game is super fun. Um, another game I think everybody has is Spot It. I love bringing a couple games for my daughter who's four. She loves this game, so it's a good one that the whole family can join in and play. Another game that is great for smaller children is Uno. This is a family favorite. I don't think I know anybody who doesn't own Uno. This game is so much fun. I love playing this game. We play it all the time, especially when we go camping. It's definitely a fan favorite. Speaking of fan favorites, another one is Phase 10. This is, a, oh my gosh, this game is so much fun. We used to play this game all the time. One of my husband's best friends loves this game. Um, we actually have recently not played it as much because we switched to another favorite game of ours. And that is in this little tiny case, crown. I don't know if you've played it yet. If you haven't, definitely play it. It is so much fun. It's kind of like rummy. I love this little case too. I just recently bought this and I think this is great. Although the hair tie, this isn't a bad way to keep your stuff. I just like a little bit more organization and I like that it's purple. It goes with the theme of the cards. So just a little OCD moment there, but it's a great game. <clears throat> Another fun game is left, right, center. This game we also play very often. That's why it's in our collection. Um, and if you wanna make things a little bit more interesting, instead of using chips, you can use dimes or pennies. 
it's super fun or quarters or whatever you want to play with coins um, that's what we like to do sometimes but for the most part we typically just play with the little coins that come with it our kids like to play it too my four-year-old likes to play it even though she doesn't quite understand it yet she still enjoys it another thing is Yahtzee. I have downsized my Yahtzee game to just this pad of paper. Um, that's because I always bring a thing of dice with me. <clears throat> this little dice container, I don't even know where I got it. I've had it forever. And I always keep, I used to have 10, I'm now down to eight, which is why I always keep more dice in this container because they do tend to get lost. But we play a game called 10,000, which just requires, um, a notepad and you know paper and pen but if you want to play Yahtzee you have your dice or you can play 10,000 so it's a great alternative another favorite that we always bring with us are cards we play so many different kinds of card games I mean from Sam's game to uh, Rummy to spoons I mean you name it we play it we play all kinds of card games I've been getting really into card games with my older son lately that's been kind of our thing so I always bring two packs of cards with me this is just a typical standard pack and this one is my fancy pack it's not really fancy but what's really cool about it is these are waterproof I don't know if you can see they're a little shiny um, the wonderful thing about these if you have kids and you're going near water at all, whether you're camping or you're spending a day at the lake um, or you're traveling somewhere that has a pool and you want to hang out and play cards, you don't have to worry about these cards getting ruined and it's something for everybody to do. So definitely would invest in a pair of waterproof cards. Another thing that we pack <clears throat> with us, which I don't know if I love these yet. I haven't decided. We've only used them once. I thought they were trivia questions when I bought them. We went to Mexico in 2020 with our friends and I thought it'd be really fun to bring uh, trivia cards because all of us kind of like to do that sort of thing. And these are called tabletop topics, which I think we went through them and shuffled through them for like 15 minutes and then we all know each other well enough so it wasn't it wasn't that interesting. Now, if you're going somewhere and you don't know people really well, or maybe you're with some extended family, or who knows, these would be interesting, but I'm keeping them in just to see if we play with them for one more season. And if we don't play with them by this time next year, I will end up getting rid of them. I am going to invest in some trivia cards. I just haven't picked what cards I'm gonna put in there yet, so. And the last thing that I put in my huge game bag is pens and pencils. And I always keep at least three or four. I have now collected four and a notepad. These notepads, you can just get them at the dollar store. They're super cheap. I love them because I'm not attached to them and I can just throw it away. I typically try and get like a hard shell one just because then it won't get all kind of crumply and wrinkled when you move the game bag around. So anyway. That's everything in my game bag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, if you want something a little bit more descriptive or want me to go into these games a little bit more, um, I'd be happy to do that and explain why I packed each one of these games. The biggest reason is they were compact. <laughs> they were compact and I've, I, we play with all of them. So anyway, all right, thanks for watching.